Yo, what's going on man? It's Mo Salim here from TripleYourT.com and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the Testogen Testosterone Booster. Before diving into the review, just three quick points. The first is that I do not have personal experience with Testogen, alright? What I've done for this review is look through each one of its ingredients and simply dug out the research about whether the ingredient is actually proven in human research to boost testosterone levels or not. The second point is that I do not have an affiliation with Testogen, so whether you decide to buy or whether you decide not to buy does not make a financial difference to me. And the third point is that supplements should only be used for what they're made, i.e. to supplement your diet and lifestyle, alright? If you're not making the simple changes in how you eat, move and sleep, then supplements will be next to worthless. So I highly recommend that if natural testosterone optimization is a priority for you, to check out my free quiz below, which will help analyze your situation and offer personalized advice moving forward. With that being said, let's dive into the review. All right, so the first ingredient in Testogen is 2000 milligrams of d -aspartic acid. I've done an entire separate video on d -aspartic acid, which I'll link out to below, but let's quickly go over a summary of whether it is actually proven to boost testosterone or not. So there's a bunch of research studies that have looked at d -aspartic acid and uh, many of them come to different conclusions. Some find that it increases testosterone, some find that there's no change, and some find that it, if you exceed a certain dosage that it can actually decrease testosterone levels. Based on my analysis of the research, I find that uh, supplementing with d -aspartic acid can boost testosterone levels in the short term, which seems to be between 12 to 14 days, but in otherwise healthy men, this increase returns to normal after the 28 day mark. But this increase can persist in men who are infertile or who have very low testosterone levels to begin with. And also in one study they found that when subjects supplemented with 6 grams of d -aspartic acid, it actually decreased their testosterone levels. So yeah, the bottom line is that the effects are inconclusive, but I highly recommend that you check out my other video which goes over each of the studies individually So and you can check out my blog post on d -aspartic acid through which you can find all the studies and then make up an informed decision yourself, alright? So the second ingredient in Testogen is Tribulus Terrestris. Again, I've done an entire separate video analyzing each of the individual research studies on Tribulus, which you can check out. I'll link out to it below as well. But the bottom line is that Tribulus Terrestris is not a proven testosterone booster. Multiple studies have found that supplementing with Tribulus fails to have an influence on testosterone in otherwise healthy men. And even in infertile men or men who have very low testosterone levels to begin with, supplementing with Tribulus has a very minor influence on testosterone. But the reason that so many supplement companies add it to their testosterone boosters is because it is a libido enhancer. And I've gone over this point in many of my previous videos, but the bottom line is that libido and testosterone are not the same thing, all right? Although higher testosterone levels are correlated with an increased sex drive, increasing your sex drive does not directly translate to higher testosterone levels as well. So the reason that Tribulus continues to sell so well is because men think that it's working all right, but just because it boosts your libido does not mean that it boosts your testosterone levels as well, all right? Because multiple studies have found that Tribulus does not have an influence on testosterone. So next up on the Testogen ingredient formula is Ginseng. So Ginseng is a herb that has been supplemented for thousands of years and its benefits include improved brain function, improved mood, and improved immunity. But as per its effects on testosterone, research finds that it does not influence testosterone levels. That being said, research does show that it actually improves nitric oxide levels, which means that it dilates the blood vessels and improves blood flow. And again, this means that it can improve erectile parameters, which means it may improve your sexual function, but overall its effects on testosterone levels are not proven. All right, so next up on the testogen ingredient formula is fenugreek. And once again, I'll link out to an entire separate video that I've done on fenugreek and its influence on testosterone levels. But the bottom line is that once again, this is a herb that does not have a proven impact on testosterone levels. Some studies show no increase, some studies show uh, a minor increase and some studies show that it actually decreases DHT levels and DHT is a derivative of testosterone which is actually five times more anabolic than it 
But uh, another thing about DHT is that it causes male pattern baldness, which is why a lot of men seem to be interested in decreasing their levels of it. But what these men don't understand is that many of the benefits that we associate with higher levels of testosterone actually get tied back to DHT, all right? So lower levels of it is definitely something that you don't want, even though it might cause a male pattern baldness. It is actually a prime cause of your masculinity, so... Yeah, man, I mean, decreasing DHT is definitely undesirable. But yeah, if you want to dive deeper into fenugreek, I recommend you check out my video below. But overall, just know that it is not one of the better ingredients in testosterone boosters. Nonetheless, uh, supplement companies still continue adding it to their supplements. So I don't know why that is the case. But uh, yeah, man, I mean, I've analyzed the research and that's what it says. That fenugreek is not proven to boost testosterone. All right, so next up on the ingredient formula is zinc. And zinc is a micronutrient which has a role to play in many of the body's important functions. And as per its effects on testosterone, yes, if you are deficient in zinc, then topping up your levels can increase testosterone levels. But if you're already getting enough zinc through your diet and lifestyle, then topping up your levels even further will not boost your testosterone. That being said, if you live in a warm climate or if you're an athlete and you sweat a lot, then supplementing with zinc can be important for you since a lot of it is lost through sweat. But overall, I wouldn't say that zinc is is necessarily a testosterone booster as much as it is a testosterone normalizer. That's because it will only increase your testosterone levels to the extent that you're currently deficient in zinc. And finally, testogen ends with a bunch of vitamins and minerals that are good for overall health, but their influence on testosterone is not exactly direct, all right? So there you have it, a quick look at the testogen ingredient formula. Overall, based on my analysis of the research, testogen will not have a significant impact on your testosterone levels. That being said, I just want to say that that's my personal opinion based on my analysis of the research. So if you're more interested in testogen, definitely check out my review below, which goes over each of the ind individual studies regarding each of the individual ingredients. But that is my opinion based on my analysis. I just want to end by saying that if testosterone optimization naturally is a priority for you, definitely check out my quiz, which is linked out below because it will help analyze your current situation and offer personalized advice moving forward. With all that being said, this has been Mo Salim from TripleUT.com. I hope that this video provided you with the information you were looking for and I'll see you soon.